a student will solve the following problem. Uh, they say that a scuba diver breathes uh, air from a tank uh, which has a pressure regulator that automatically adjusts the pressure of the inhaled air to the ambient pressure. If a diver that is 40 meters below the surface of a deep lake fills his lungs to the full capacity of 6 liters and then rises quickly to the surface to what volume will his lungs expand? So uh, basically, in this problem, we want to see, you know, uh, we want to work uh, with the relation that exists between pressure and volume, you know. So uh, let us see first with what is the information we have. We know that this person, this scuba diver, is. 40 meters under the water of a lake. If it's under the water of a lake, uh, the um, density of the uh, fresh water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, it's a lake, so this should be the uh, density of the lake. Uh, and also, we know uh, that the volume of the air in his lamps is uh, 6 liters when he is under the, under the, the, the water, you know, uh, 40 meters. So, we know that the product of the pressure times the volume is equal to a constant. So it means you know that the pressure one times the volume one is equal to a pressure in a second scenario times the volume of that second scenario. Let me make a representation here. This is you know the lake, the water of the lake. And here I have uh, my diver. So this guy is uh, 40 meters below the water. Under the water. Okay? So just 40 meters under the water. So all this column of liquid, you know, over here, here is a pressure on this scuba diver. Okay? So uh, basically, we need to find what is the pressure, you know, that this scuba diver is feeling, you know, when he's uh, 40 meters under the water. So we know that he's just on the pressure. And this pressure is the pressure P1. Eventually, he's gonna go up and he's gonna be here on the surface of the water. And when he's at the surface of the water, the pressure acting on this person is the atmospheric pressure. And this would be the pressure P2, the pressure in my second scenario. So, what are we going to do? We're going to find the total pressure acting on this person when he's 40 meters under the water. And this pressure when he's 40 meters under the water, that means that will be our pressure P1, is the pressure of, you know, uh, of one atmosphere, right? The atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to the column of liquid that is rho gh. So uh, if we substitute now here, we get that the pressure one 
would be when a new fear is equivalent to 101,325 Pascal plus now we're going to find the pressure due to the column of liquid is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter times 9.8 meters per square second, 9.81 that is the acceleration of the gravity times 40 meters because he's 40 meters under the water so we're going to have that the pressure one is 101,325 pascal plus this flow here gives you 392 uh, 392,400 pascal So the pressure P1, the total pressure that I've been on this person over here, is uh, 493,725 Pascal. This is the total pressure acting on this scuba diver that is under the water, 40 meters under the water. Now, as I know the pressure one, I know the volume of, you know, uh, air that he has in uh, that he has in his lungs, right? And I know P two because P two would be uh, the atmospheric pressure. We can find the volume two that is the volume you know of the air or the volume of the yeah, of, of air uh, when he is just uh, going to the surface of the water so uh, there is an expansion right so it will be an increasing volume so let us do the calculation And what we find now here that P1 B1 is equal to P2 B2. So 493,725 Pascal times 6 liters is equal to uh, 101,325 Pascal times P2. So 493,725 Pascal is the total pressure when he is 40 meters under the water. 6 liters is the capacity of the lungs, you know, when he is six meters, uh, 40 meters under the water. 101,225 Pascal is the pressure when the scuba diver is on the surface of the water. B2 will be the volume of the lungs, you know, uh, once he is just uh, on the surface of the water. So we solve for B2 here and we get 493,725 Pascal times 6 liters divided by 101,325 Pascal. So the Pascals cancel out here. And we have that the volume two would be equal to 29.2 liters. 29.2 liters. So the uh, volume of the lumps, right, increase uh, in a very important magnitude more, you know, uh, it's just multiplied by a factor created and almost by a factor of five. When it's just going very quick from the uh, a position there is, you know, 40 meters under the water to, to be just there on the surface of the water. So this is a 
very interesting problem where we uh, apply concepts that we learned in previous chapters. So I hope you know this problem is going to help you to understand better uh, this topic. So thank you for your attention.